tutasoma in the book of Ezra the book of Ezra iko nyuma ya Zaburi nyuma ya Esther nyuma ya Nehemiah urudi nyuma kidogo Ezra Ezra chapter number 4 tutasoma mstari wa kwanza mpaka wa ine. neno la bwana linasema in the book of Ezra chapter number 4 we start from number 1 to, to verse 4 inasema basi adui za yuda na beyamini waliposikia ya kuwa wana wa, uhami, wa uhamisho wanamjengea bwana mungu wa israeli hekalu wakamkaribia waka zerubabeli na wakuwa bari za mababa wakawaambia na tujenge sisi nasi pamoja nanyi kwa maana tunamtafuta mungu wenu kama ninyi nasi twamtolea dhabihu tangu zamani za Esal Hod- El- Elsa Hodoni mfalme wa Ashuru aliye tupandisha mpaka hapa mstari wa tatu. lakini Zerubabeli na Yoshua na wakuu wengine wa bari za maba- mababa katika Israeli wakawaambia ninyi ha- haiwahusu kushirikiana nasi katika kumjengea Mungu wetu nyumba basi sisi wenyewe peke yetu tutamjengea Bwana Mungu wa Israeli nyumba kama mfalme Koreshi mfalme wa wajameni alivyotoamuru ndipo watu wa inchi wakadhofisha mikono ya watu wa Yuda wakawasumbua walipokuwa wakijenga tutafikisha hapo na ujumbe wetu ni if god is for you who can be against you if god is for us who can be against us tunaweza keti chini kitabu cha Ezra ni kitabu ambacho Ezra na baadhi ya Wayahudi waliokuwa wameshikwa mateka aliweza kurudi nao kutoka uhamisho na kazi ya Ezra alikuwa kurekebisha ama kurekebisha mioyo ya watu to restore the heart of men ili waweze kumrudia Mungu Mjue wakati watu wako kwa mashida watu wa wanasahau kama Mungu ako kazini akifanya kazi. So Ezra alikuwa anarejesha mioyo ya watu kwa Mungu. Hiyo ndiyo ilikuwa kazi ya Ezra. Kazi ya Hagai ilikuwa ya kurudisha watu katika nafasi ya Mungu naye huyu alikuwa kurejesha mioyo ya watu kwa Mungu naye Hagai alikuwa aendelee kukumbusha watu ni nini kiliwafanya wajipate Babeli kila mtu alikuwa na kazi yake kazi ya Nehemaya ilikuwa kujenga ukuta uliokuwa umebomolewa hivyo tu na ile kazi ingine Mungu alimpatia na hawa Ezra kwa sababu kazi hiyo ndiyo ilikuwa yake watu waliporudi kutoka uhamishoni sio wote ni kikundi fulani na wakaanza kufanya kazi ya Mungu waseme mahali ya duya alibomoa kwa nyumba ya Mungu tutarekebisha wale watu ambao hawakutaka nyumba ya Mungu ijengwe maadui zao wakaja kusema watawasaidia watawasaidia kwa sababu pia wao wanaomba Mungu kama wao inakaa ni fact 
na leo nataka nikwambie hivi kuna watu katika maisha yako lazima waondoke ndio Mungu afanye kazi katika maisha yako utanielewa saa hii lakini ni lazima kuna watu wako na wewe lakini hawako na wewe wako na wewe wa kuone ukianguka zaidi ya vile ulianguka mwanzo na hao watu walikuwa wanakuja kwa nini in this book of Ezra because their motive haikuwa kuona Benjamins and Judah wakiarise walikuwa wawaone wamianguka zaidi isipokuwa upewa the designing spirit ujue who is with you no, not everyone is with you not everyone is celebrating with you not everyone is happy with you so dio maana najua mnapendanga hata ukijenga nyumba unaita watu wa celebrate with you they don't others they don't come to celebrate they come to cry ili jengo nikiwa wapi na ninge stop wamefikaje hapa na hii ningezuia not everybody that is for you na the motives of the enemies of 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 Judah and Benjamin ilikuwa kulete discouragement kwa ile kazi kuna somebody anaweza kuwa katika maisha yako na yeye anataka ku monitor your progress ndio akupull down na wewe na kiherehere unamfungulia moyo wako wote plani zako zote ndio sasa akigatha the enemies anawagatha kukuangusha with the full information yenye umempatia akipretend ni rafiki yako so Joshua was a priest sio yule aliongoza wana wa Israeli ni mtu anaitwa Joshua a priest Zerubbabel was a governor of Judah The designing spirit of God ikawaambia hawa watu hatufai kushirikiana hata kama wako na point Kwa sababu enemy akija kwa maisha yako anakujanga mnakunywa chai pamoja akikwambia aki huyu ni Mungu Kuna siku moja niliita mtu kwangu kafika tu kwa geti hivi akaanza maombi unnecessary and i was like ile maombi alikuwa naomba mimi nikimsikiliza nilisikia this is not prayer ni regret ya kusema sikudhani Mungu atakufikisha hapa not every prayer that is offered to you is a prayer kuna zingine people are crying inside in fact wanasema why me god because wana wish hiyo place kama ingekuwa yao haingekuwa yako and from today be careful bwana yesu apee sifa don't wacha kuambia watu mawazo yako what you want to do where you want to go what you want to buy usiwaambie hao watu wakaelewa hao watu wamekuja ukisoma maandiko walipo ka, ukitaka kujua hawakuwa na nia mzuri walipoambiwa msitusaidie kujenga walifanya nini bibili inasema wakadhofika wakatafuta plan b ya kuangamiza ili nyumba ya Mungu isijengwe glory to god na discouragement number one ilikuwa ya kuondoa ile motivation kuna ile motivation uko, uko nayo katika maisha yako and once you are discouraged the motivation katika maisha yako inaondolewa kitu ingine walipata ni fear fear ilikuwa ya ku keep them off wasifanye hiyo kazi kwa sababu maadui sasa wameingia na ujue wale watu wamekuja kujenga nyumba ya Mungu ni watu wounded ni watu ambao wamekaa maisha si yao na sasa wanataka maisha yao irudi back to normal but enemies wanasema no hiyo maisha yako haitarudi back to normal but i'm here to tell you kama Mungu ako upande wako hakuna kile kitakuwa kinyume chako lazima maisha yako itarudi back to normal 
and to where God wanted to be in the name of Jesus Christ. Haijalishi how hard the enemy is working against you. You are unstoppable. Hallelujah. You are a righteous man, a woman of God, chosen by God, anointed of God to do exploit and great things in your life. You are unstoppable. Na hakuna mtu anaweza simama hapa mbele za Mungu apangue mipango Mungu amepanga. Lazima kuna vitu zitakuondokea kwa sababu you are progressive lazima itaonekana the project zile Mungu alianzisha katika maisha yako even before you were born lazima ikuwe accomplished katika maisha yako hallelujah so dio vizuri ukiomba unaomba sio kila mtu anakusalimia mko pamoja Sio kila mtu anakupatia ahag muko pamoja. Hamkumbuki Judas alihag Jesus, aka kiss Jesus a kiss of love, but it was a kiss of hate. Na ilikuwa na saini yake. Yule nitaenda ni kiss, mjue ni huyo ndio anafaa kupelekwa msalabani. Sio every kiss, sio every hug. It is from God. Na Mungu akupatie. Na watu wengi wako stuck kwa sababu once project iko and you want to move forward. Unakuwa tu na kiherehere ingine unajua hii kiherehere ni mzuri but saa ingine itatuingiza kwa majaribu. Unakuwa happy na hujui ku control your happiness. Una unajua nini? He, unajua huu mwaka nataka nichukue loan. Nikichukua loan kuna kaploti nilipata mahali fulani. Alafu nataka nianze kukaanzia hapo Januari. So unaulizo loan ya pesa ngapi? I think ka milioni moja hivi katatosha kuanzisha hiyo mradi. Siku gani unapeana mpaka date? Hiyo date ndiyo unavamiwa. Hiyo date ndiyo unavamiwa kwa sababu wewe ulifikiria na huyo mtu anakwambia vizuri aki Mungu si amekusaidia. Aki Mungu si utoa watu mbali. Sahi anasema si aki nitakuangusha. Si aki nitahakikisha utanishinda. Kwa sababu umasikini ambao uko katika adui. Adui hataki kuona mtu akiendelea. Anataka kuona mtu akio pale chini. Lakini nimekuja kukuambia kuna watu wanatolewa katika maeneo hawakutarajiwa watatoka lakini utatoka hey utatoka hapo uliwekwa ukai tena I'm speaking to somebody in this place hapo uliwekwa ati miradi yako yote imesimama inaamuka inaamuka in the name of Jesus kuwa tayari kuna kitu kinafanyika katika maisha yako maadui wako hawatakuzuia tena haleluya na do you know wao huwa wanapigia mtu simu kutaka kujua mahali umefika jua maadui zako na ni wazuri ukikuwa na harambe na kuanga namba 1 wakitoa testimony yako ha utawaambia my brother my sister come here i hug you well be careful hata kuwa heri kukuwa na rafiki silence sijui nitamuita listener sijui nitamuita namna gani wako hapo mmoja aliniuliza kaona project akasema na hiyo ukijenga ulijenga kama umenyamaza tu nikamwambia ilibidi ninyamaze kwa sababu namba one mwenye kuniuliza ndiye alikuwa anizuie haleluya kuna mambo Mungu atafanya na ikianzi kwa sababu kuna project na kazi Mungu ameanza katika maisha yako promise yourself utanyamaza utanyamaza na hata ukinyamaza unyamaze tu 
wao wa kupointingi waseme ule aliendelea kwa sababu jia Mungu ametengeneza na adui hakuishuku na hakuijua hawezi kuja kuizuia hawezi kuja kuisimamisha hawa maadui wakalete fujo wakasema haiwezekani lakini Ezra akaambia Zerubabeli jitie moyo because it is not by mighty it is not by power it is by the spirit of the living god ya kwamba hii nyumba itajengwa it is by the spirit of the living god ya kwamba utainuka it is by the spirit of the living god utajenga makao yako it is by the spirit of the living god utainua project zako hallelujah because vitu zingine hazifanyiki kwa urahisi zinafanyika kwa msaada wa Mungu kwa msaada wa Mungu haleluya unatoka kwa hiyo mashida ulio ndani yake kwa msaada wa Mungu utatoka kwa hiyo hali adui alifikiria utakaa kwa msaada wa Mungu utatoka kwa hiyo hali najua kuna hali uko containing mtu inasema hivi ndivyo utakaa Ah, nafikiria unapokea this word prophetically ni katika msaada wa Mungu Farao hangeachilia Israelite lakini kwa msaada wa Mungu haleluya hey. Mungu akateremka huko kwa nguvu zake atawakikataa whether demons devil whatever rusufa like it or not kuna a place that is prepared for you and you are going to reach there in the name of jesus in the name of jesus hautakaa stuck atu umeblockiwa kila jamu inaondolewa by the power of the living god kila stagnation inaondolewa haleluya Ezra aka encourage Joshua the priest akamwambia jitie moyo ikazi ya nyumba ya Mungu itafaulu na Biblia inasema wakajitia moyo katika Bwana kwa sababu wa mtumaini yao Bwana hawaanguki hawa mtumaini yao Bwana hawatashindwa wa mtumaini yao Bwana watasimama acha nikwambie kitu kuna sababu ya wewe kuzaliwa katika ulimwengu huu na hiyo sababu Yesu hafai kukuchukua makurudi kama huja accomplish kwa nini kuna demons in the world kazi ya demon ni kukuhinda away from the purposes of God in your life. Mwandishi mmoja anasema in the book of Psalms 118 from verse 17 sitakufa nitaishi. Lazima nione mema ya Mungu katika maisha yangu. Haleluya. Sijui kama kuna mtu anasema hivyo. I will live to see the goodness of God in my life. Haleluya. Sema I am not going to die but to live to see the goodness of God in my life. I am going to see the goodness of God upon my children. I am going to see the goodness of God kuna the goodness of god in this life e life umepewa it is full of the goodness of god haukuletwa uwe unasema tu sicknesses haukuletwa uwe tu unasema poverty haukuletwa tu ati uwe unasema about the the generation curses they have no power over your life Jesus Christ has paid the cost. The blood was poured. Na akasema imekwisha. Imekwisha. Hautahesabiwa dhambi za mababu zako. 
walizo zitenda haizihesabiki kwako haleluya kuna mambo yatafanikiwa hata kama maadui zako walipinga miaka mingi leo Mungu atajibu matatizo yako yote anajibu Ah, sijui kama naongea na mtu ambaye anaomba lakini bado amepingwa kama Danieli. Mungu anatuma msaada katika maisha yako. Mungu anatuma msaada katika njia zako. Mungu anatuma msaada. Naongea na mtu hata kama moto umekuwa ukiwaka siku ya leo Jehova Mungu anateremka katika maisha yako. Siku ya leo ni wakati wako wa kutembea ukiwa na ushindi Walisema hawa Wayahudi wanaojifanya wanajua Mungu sana wacha tuone mahali Mungu wao atawafikisha wakati wa ndani ya moto kule ndani ya moto Mungu alikuwa ameshashuka Mungu ameshashuka katika hali zako ngumu Mungu ameshashuka katika magumu yako Mungu ameshashuka wakasema wacha tuone huyo Mungu wake atamufikisha wapi Daniel anachukuliwa anapelekwa kwa shimo iko na simba walafi ambao hawajakulishwa kwa siku nyingi ndio akue chakula naye Mungu ni nani malaika wa Bwana walikuwa wametumwa wakafumba simba midomo Danieli akakaa mule ndani akiwa huru Mungu anakutumia msaada leo Mungu anakutia nguvu leo Hatatoka vile uliingia Kuna maadui wanatumika kukuzuia kuendelea Tutaona kama hiyo ministry itaenda hii ministry ni ya Mungu ni ya Mungu Tutaona nao wataonana na yule aliyeianzisha ona kama kama atahama kayole hawana habari hawana habari hawana habari pesa zako zimeanza kutayarishwa hawana habari malo, malori zimeanza kutayarishwa na mawe hawana habari vile Mungu anafanya kazi katika maisha yako kwa sababu lazima ufanikiwe na kwanza hii maombi unaita watu kwako for house warming alafu unawaambia ingia kwa kina kwa kina room muombe usidhubutu kufanya hiyo waombe mahali huko na wakati maombi inaombwa ufungue macho uangalie kila mtu utakuta wengine hawafungi mnaangaliana mjoi kuwa na hiyo maombi unajua niko na hiyo tabia kwangu kujua ni nani haombangi natakanga kujua hata mtoto asitumike vibaya na shetani. Naomba hivi nataka kujua ni nani yako na sisi. Nakuta mmeangaliana hivi unajua huyu wako na sisi. Ako kwingine unafungua macho. Na ukikuta amekuangalia juendi atafunga, umwangalie vizuri. Juendi yako na shida na wewe. Mbona akuje for house warming? na hafungi macho na mko kwa nyumba na mmefunga mlango what is wrong something is wrong somewhere haleluya alafu unamwambia zunguka kila mahali mkiomba si kila mahali unapeleka peleka kuhani hao wengine wanabaki na huku <laughs> juu kazi yake ni kusema alijenga kutoa makosa lakini bedroom haiwezi toshea hata kitanda ya 3 by 3 hata kitanda imepunguzwa rumu imepunguzwa hata haitoshei manguo mkiona amejenga sitini kubwa lakini mahali pa kulala hata kutoa mguu hivi lazima agonge ukuta juu kuna hao watu juu hakutaki ataki any good report ifike dawa yao ni nini una limit mimi sikuira utaniita kufungua nyumba hatuendi na wao 
na limit na make sure nime limit ka hapa sitting room ndio tuliitwa tunakulia chakula hapa hata kijipeki bembe kimbele mbele ya bebe mafuta simutaki ya kuyaasha yu kazi yake ni hai choo hata mungu haiwezi toshea ni kushindo hiyo choo akiingia atakuwa anaingia anajipindua aje eh? unakuta kuna hao wa kutoa makosa juu hajawahi penda ufike mahali mungu anakupeleka anatakanga kujua kama ulikufa jana hello eh, uko namna gani Unamwambia niko salama sana my sister my brother. Oh mnaendelea vizuri. Jua nafikiria utamwambia unaumwa na kichwa. Ndio maana hata ukiumwa na kichwa don't give any report. Inua Mungu juu ya magonjwa. Inua Mungu juu ya mashida unapitia. Confuse your enemies in, in their camp. Usipate wagade, usiwafanye wagade any information from you. Siku moja nikafunguliwa macho na Mungu. Kulikuwa round kitu saa sita hivi za usiku. Kaona roho imerushwa kutoka mahali wale wanajua ile uchawi yao. Na wale tunaopiganiwa na Mungu spirit zetu wazimeamshwa. Kikuja kwangu na nikuta hata mimi niko. Unga yake akapulisha hivi. Kalete kwa miguu yangu nikajua o oh, umeona bidii yangu nimekuja kunipunguza bidii akanijaza siafu inakaa matope saidi moja na saidi nyingine naye Mungu akaniambia na kupigania amka toka kwa kitanda hiyo miguu piga nisha chini kama dust ikafanya hivyo na nikarudi usingizi nilikuwa na usingizi mwingi ikamrudia eh kwa sababu kazi zao madhabahu zao uadui wao hautafanikiwa juu yetu sisi tunapiganiwa na Bwana aliye juu tumemwagiwa mafuta na tumebeba upako wa kifalme sisi ni ile ami ambaye Bwana alichagua na alituchagua sio twende vitani tushindwe ni tutoke na ushindi yake mapema saa moja na nusu ndio anataka kusikia miguu imefura eh hello my sister eh mume, mumelala na mukamuka salama eh oh mnaendelea salama nikamwambia mimi hata niko kwa barabara naelekea mjini oh mumetoka mapema eh jua hataki kusikia unaenda mahali kwa sababu dasti yake anataka ajue kama ilifanya kazi. Haleluya. Tunapiganiwa na Bwana na siku ya leo kuna mipaka adui aliweka. Ha. Haita limit Mungu kufanya ile kazi anafanya leo katika maisha yako. Haleluya. Unajua kila mwanzo uko na foundation kuna foundation yako iliwekwa but iko stagnant ukabomolewa hao walikuja wakaanza kule from the, that foundation wakaanza kujenga madui wakasema hao wakijengeka tumeisha tujaribu vile tutawazuia wasijengeke but this time round hawana nguvu tena juu yako adui hana nguvu tena juu yako sauti zao hazitasikika tena wala madhabahu zao hazitafanya kazi juu yako kile waliiba kinarudishwa leo nguvu alipunguza unajua matisho nehemaya alikuwa anaambiwa wayahudi hawa dhaifu ii mawe wataifufua ii kuta watajenga waangalie kazi wanafanya ya upuzi nehemaya akasimama akasema bwana naomba tia mikono yangu nguvu wakajenga silaha 
praising God ya kwamba Mungu wewe ndio ulitupatia hii nafasi wakajenga upande mmoja panga mikono mwingine kazi upanga ni neno la Mungu maandiko inasema the word of God is exalted above his name Psalms 138 from verse 2 The word of God is exalted above his word his name. Wakainua Mungu, wakajenga, wakanyamazisha maadui. Kuna mambo inajengeka maadui zako watanyamaza. Hello. Wale upigania simu akikukosa lazima apigenie, apigie mwenzako simu. Fulani umemwona off late. Jua anataka hataki kusikia any progressive anataka kusikia the other side. Eh. Hey, Wacha nikuambie. Huyo hata sidhani atatoboa huu mwaka. Anasikia kwani kunaendeleaje siku hizi? Furaha yake ni hiyo. Jule alimwingia ni huyo. Lakini furaha zao kutakuwa na huzuni in the camp of your enemies. Kutakuwa na soro. They are going to glow in the cup of your enemies kwa sababu Mungu anakuinua haleluya Mungu anakuinua Mungu anakuinua i repeat in the name of Jesus wanataka hata ile kitu uko nayo ianguke lakini badala ya ianguke itaongezewa we serve a god who increase haleluya wanataka hata ile kitu uko nayo juzi nikaambia my daughter nikamwambia maadui walio kuangalia uanguke ili nyumba ya ukuhani iteseke wana ku celebrate next year nilimwambia tu kasema mama unamaanisha nini nikamwambia you are a servant of god na uliangushwa na kuna maadui wali celebrate mtoto wa pasta ameanguka but coming next year wata celebrate the goodness of god nikamwambia you are becoming rich more than their children kuna mambo mungu atafanya katika maisha yako kwa watoto wako kwa kazi yako hapa mnasema hata pasta ah mtoto kwanza wa pasta akianguka kwisha tunaambia ngo holy mountain it is on fire <laughs> but mujue pia watoto wetu ni kama wenyu tu they can misbehave na si eti aki misbehave mimi nimeisha nguvu hapana ni yeye but hatuachili yangi waanguke venye tu unatafuta anga wako hata mimi niko hiyo mbio nikiambia shetani hii uchukui hii hurarui hakuna sasa maadui zetu nao wakiona kwetu kumeingiwa acha tuone kama sasa chachi watu wataipenda chachi itapendwa na watu wako na akili ya kuelewa hizo vitu happen lakini watoto wa kiroho hawawezi penda hiyo chachi. Juu wako na utoto. Wanafikiria kila kitu kutoka kwa pasta pale juu kunafaa kukue malaika wakiascend na wakidescend. Eh? <laughs> Hello. Hata sisi tuko na wao. Tuko na wao wanasema hako ka pasta katatembea mguu mpaka slipper zikue ya red na huko chini. Sisi tunatetewa na Bwana. Saa hiyo anasema hivyo. Rinda mzuri inaletwa, unavaa. Hata wengine wanaingia TikTok sio kukuona venye unaendelea vizuri, kukuona kama nywele imebomoka, kukuona kama ulipigwa jicho kama iko red, anakuta umeweka ka makeup ka blue, iko sawa? Hello. Halo Halo Tunakuanga kama kuna siku niliumwa inaitwa namna gani do we call kuna vitu zilikuwa zinauma watu zilikuwa 
akikuuma ikidonda inatokea hiyo hata mimi nikavamiwa na moja thank god ilikuwa ile time ya covid niko naambia pastor mbogo wa wo ungesemekana ile ngumi umenigonga <laughs> nikajaribu kupaka vix kwanza hapa tu na kakaweka alama ilika jiricho ikafura nikasema thank god atuko huko maadui wangesema sika ndio mnasema anajifanya ako sawa ayuko sawa ona sasa sisi hata stima ikipotea mahali tunakinganga ni hapa heri nigongwe mkono wa mtajua sisi hata tukiwa na kiu hatuwezi tumia chupa ya taska na ndio tu available kukunywa maji nayo itabidi hata utafute karatasi ama uende na hiyo kiu yako kwa sababu ikiwekwa tu maji na haina hako hawe ni maji unakunywa na ni kiu isipokuwa useme liwe liwalo tambio hawa kiu ndio imewazidia huko muona na chupa huyu hata afichangi <laughs> hello kwa sababu kuna hao maadui kazi yao ni kukutafutia ubaya ili wakuanike lakini leo Mungu anakuficha kuna mambo Mungu atafanya kuna mambo Mungu atafanya wapende wasipende kuna mambo Mungu atafanya utaendesha gari wapende wasipende utakaa nyumba mzuri wapende wasipende utainuliwa wapende wasipende juu muda mrefu wanataka ukufe hivyo ama mnafikiria kila mtu anaenda kwa mazishi ni juu ya upendo ameenda kuangalia kwa jenesa kama ni alilala na hawakosangi mastori alikuwa amelala niko na shtuka asiamke unashtuka mtu asiamke kwa nini juu uko na shida na yeye si mimi naweza penda nikizika mtu aamke eh si ni vizuri akiamka si yako na nafasi ya kuishi eh ni aliniangalia nikaona kama ame blink asiamke uko na shida naye na gani naye asiamke kwa sababu utitaka akufe nacho kile unapanda utakivuna haleluya hawa maadui wakasema hii nyumba ya Mungu haitajengwa Ezra akasema we are not doing it by our might we are doing it by the spirit of the living god hii nyumba itasimama haleluya mambo yako itasimama by the power of the living god haleluya mambo yako itasimama hata kuna watu wanasema acha tungoje huo kijana wake ndio tunataka kuona kama ataoa unaoa vizuri unaoa vizuri hakuna this time hakuna makosa hakuna hii harusi tutakula mchele haleluya tutakula mchele wasema oh wasichana wa hiyo chachi hawaolevi vijana hawa wewe utaoa utaoa in the name of jesus vizuri kutakuwa na good sample from him here your sister akuolewa hivyo but he alisema this coming round alisema anaona kama ataweka yes restoration time hallelujah na wale mmeolewa na mkaoana hakuna makosa you are coming back strong you are coming back strong you are coming back strong in the name of jesus how go out of place hallelujah tu wacha tuone wacha tuone wacha tuone wacha tu kuona kwao kutawaweka huzuni kutawahaibisha kutawaweka huzuni kutawaweka huzuni katika maisha yao kwa sababu Mungu wako upande wako Mungu wako upande wa watoto wako katika jina la Yesu haleluya so they want to help you but they are not with you because they want to challenge what you are doing 
yeyote ambaye hako na wewe asiapie katika maisha yako na Mungu alete yule anafaa kuwa katika maisha yako ndio uweze kwenda to the next level yeyote ambayo hako na wewe hata asifanye kazi na wewe juu itaanguka hayuko na wewe ako hapo for him only to benefit lakini hayuko na wewe unajua mambo kama hiyo mambo kama hiyo ni gumu kusema lakini huwa inasemwa yule hayuko na wewe asitembee kwako kutaka kujua kama unakula mayai juu angependa kukuona na mahindi bila maharagwe na kikombe ya strong tea bila sukari ndio apate ripoti ya kugada tumewini huko nobody no enemy that is going to win your battles hallelujah hallelujah Hakuna adui atashinda vita vyako vita vyako unashindaniwa na Bwana katika jina la Yesu maadui wanataka uanguke lakini Jehovah atakuinua maadui wanataka uhuzunike watakuona kwa sherehe na sahani ya mchele na sahani ya kuku watakuona kwa sherehe ukifurahia watakuona uki cheka wanataka ukufe watakutana na wewe ukitembea wanataka ukae kama giza utangaa kama nyota haleluya kwa sababu sababu ya Mungu haitakoma katika maisha yako haleluya maadui wa njia zetu maadui wa njia zako hawatafanikiwa unaona mahali umefika haurudi nyuma taendelea ku grow utaendelea ku grow ah utaendelea ku grow wacha kusikiza ulimwengu utaendelea ku grow in the name of Jesus Christ hapo umefika ah una arise unaenda to the next level unaenda to the next project to the other project hallelujah it doesn't matter how time it has been wasted god is about to restore you again God will prepare a table in the presence of my enemies those enemies who don't want you to see any good thing coming in your life they will see the goodness and the glory of God upon you they will see power of God upon your life Hallelujah. Hautakufa premature death. I'm speaking to you. Hautakufa premature death. Haukuletwa duniani just in vain. There is a purpose of God upon you. Na ni lazima ifaulu. Utakuwa na furaha ya kusherehekea the labor of your work. Kuna peace of God that passes human understanding yenye Mungu atakupatia katika maisha yako utamalizia peacefully haleluya atiwacha tuone kama watoto wake watasoma kwani wao ni nani watapita na e wataendelea Mungu afungue watoto wako akili. Mungu afungue watoto wako akili. Mungu afungue watoto wako akili. Niko na candidates in the house. Wenye wanafanya exam, hebu wainue mkono juu. Mutapita. Mutapita. Mutakuwa hodari katika nchi. Na katika mataifa 
Haleluya nyinyi ni baraka na nyinyi ni kama mishale ya vita mikononi mwa shujaa Hakuna mtu anaweza simama alete kizuizi seme Mungu hatatenda na Mungu ameanza kazi na kazi imeanza sasa Hakuna wakupinga Haleluya This is the day This is the day that the Lord has made. Kuna wakati nilikuwa najiuliza sasa mtu ununua gari aje. Hiyo kai hodi ya gati ya mwadhani. Mtu ujenga aje. Mtu ufanya vitu aje. Mungu akupatie hekima ya kutengeneza utajiri Mungu akuonyeshe njia Mungu akufungue macho Mungu akuongoze Mungu akufanikishe kwa sababu kwako kuna uwezo kwako kuna nguvu Glory to God Watesi wako mahali walikuacha hawatakupata hapo Watesi wako mahali walikufinyilia hawatakupata hapo kama batimayo hakupatikana hapo kama yule mtu aliyekaa for that eight years hakupatikana hapo hata wewe unaondoka 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 hautapato hapo tena hii ndio siku ile tulikuwa tunagojea siku ya Bwana atuinue atutoe mahali tuko atuongoze mahali anataka hii ndio siku hello this is the day Mungu amefanya kwa maisha yetu na ni wazuri wanapenda kusaidia hata ukiita Uti, ukitana baadhi anataka kuwa jikoni a poison chakula na maneno pale watu watakuja hapa wasisikizane hapo juangi kwa nini tunaita catering sio ku waste pesa kuna watu tunaondeanga kwa mapishi yetu catering ni ako biashara huyu umeita akupikie anakujanga na malaana zake hapo na maroho zake hapo eh Watu wakipiga makofi ye ni kulia na lia. Na ikizidi anaendanga kulilia cho. Unamuuliza kwa nini leo huna raha? Ah, na huko na kichwa, si kichwa, uovu. Uovu umemgonjesha. Ameshindwa. Alafu wewe unafanya mistake nyingine unaitana baby shower. Mtoto wako akiwa kwa tumbo. Alafu anaona pale ameandikwa Tom. Ah, ni baby boy. Baby boy tutataminate before azaliwe. Mtoto anazaliwa lakini akiingia kwa darasa yeye ndiye anavuruta mkia. Shida ilitokea wapi? My son. I think he baby shower ni sisi tu tutafanya family. Na isiingie kwa media tafadhali Hakuna baby shower You will do that for me Ju unajua katika ulimwengu wa kiroho Tumbo iko hapa baby shower baby we Destiny ya huyo mtoto ni ya maana Sikuida mtoto wako atazaliwa rafiki yako azijue ni jue wa kwanza na baba yako Uje kwa kanisa tu bariki mtoto Bada hao wengine wakujange baadaye kusema ai anakaa serious before hiyo serious waseme sisi tulibari jicho kubwa na unafikiria unaambiwa ni jicho kubwa kama ya mama yake ona 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 kisogo ona kisogo ona kisogo vile inakaa nyinyi amujui maana ya dedication ya watoto unajua tunavutanga hizo vitu watu wanaonge ona kisogo Unasikia hiki kimkono kim, unasikia ni kama mtoto hata anaitwa kijitu kim, tangulini mtoto akakuwa na kimukono na wanataka ku describe every part hata ukimchange pampers wanataka describe every part 
be careful lakini juu ya technology unasema it is your choice zingine zina ficha fichwa ndio ile destiny you maintain mtoto wa a grow aggressively siku ya leo why do they want to help you and they are not with you because they want to challenge the progress hawako na wewe they want to challenge the progress kuna vitu zingine huwa zinakwama juu ya sauti tu mdomo kile hawawezi challenge ni kile already formed but kile bado hakiko formed ni rahisi kistopiwe be careful mimi nasikia in the spiritual realm something is happening kuna mahali watu wanatolewa na ninaamini ni wewe na kuna mahali mtu anafixiwa ulikuwa kwa levo ya chini sana enemy akasema hapo hapana ndio maana kuna kuhani kwa madhabahu kwa sababu kuna limit zinatoka kuna hali zinakuondoka and you are going to the next level haleluya kuna chain ambazo zina breakiwa chain unatembeanga tu but you are bound you are in cell but in the physical world tuko na wewe tunakunywa chai na wewe but hakuna kitu unaweza fanya mtu akifungwa romande ni kazi gani atafanya kuna mtu anatoka kwa jail for free today in the name of jesus you are coming out victorious in the name of jesus hallelujah unatoka kuna mtu wako dry amekuwa scattered mkono imerushwa huko huko something is coming back together for good in your life kuna mambo Mungu anafanya hallelujah kuna restoration ina take place in your life kuna mambo Mungu anafanya na ninasimama na ujasiri kusema mahali umefika you are not going backward but forward in the name of Jesus you are not going backward you are going forward ni kweli mambo imekuwa mazito but you are going forward ni kweli kuna mengine yamekushinda but you are going forward ni kweli hujui vile kutakuwa but you are going forward for the goodness of god kwa ajili ya uzuri wa Mungu haleluya hebu inuka kwa mugu wako haurudi hau tena nyuma farao alijaribu unajua walisema namna gani tutajengea kwa nini tumewarilize sio wao waliwarilize ni mkono wa Jehova uliwatoa huko kwa nini tumewaruhusu let us go back for them so that they can come back and continue building for us wangepewa adabo torment but kusudi la Mungu halingezuilika kusudi la Mungu halingezuilika the far you have come Jehovah is Ebenezer Jehovah is Ebenezer you are moving forward una stahili una stahili pokea sifa kupokea utukufu
pokea sifa wakimshukuru bwana hebu chukua nafasi umshukuru bwana shukuru bwana mwambie ni asante shukuru bwana mwambie ni asante shukuru bwana mwambie ni asante wewe ni mungu wetu mtakatifu you have brought us this far we call you ebenezer umesikia kilio chetu 
kaona matatizo yetu kaona kufungo kwetu you have come for our rescue and you have come lord so that we can go to the next level tunasema ni asante asante umeona njia zetu umeona mambo hatuwezi sisi wenyewe kutatua ukasema leo bwana utatatua thank you for restoring us restoring our families thank you lord tunasema ni asante Bwana Asante umeona hatutakoroga matope tena Oh God Umevunja nira tulizowekelewa mabegani mwetu Umetoa nyavu tuliyowekelewa juu yetu maadui wamekuwa wakipitia kwa vichwa vyetu walisema hatutasimama wakasema hatutainuka lakini leo usifurahi wewe adui yangu kwa sababu tumeinuka tumeinuka tena Sante Bwana umetupata kwa korokoro tulifungwa tukafungwa minyororo mizito umetufungulia you have broken the bros walls tuliwekewa kuta za chuma Mungu wetu umezivunja asante thank you lord for allowing us to walk free Thank you kwa sababu umepararize the work of our enemies their weapons that you have never even supported Father King of all glory we thank you Sante kwa wema wako Sante kwa njia zako Sante kwa kuwa upande wetu Father we thank you kwa sababu watoto wetu ni washindi nataka candidates wote wakuje ni waombe mtakuwa hodari katika nchi mtakuwa matajiri mtapita mtakuwa big people in nations may god preserve you are going out and you are coming back mtafanikiwa kesho yenu ni bright poverty sio portion yenu mutamalizia vizuri inwe ni mikono baba nabariki hawa watoto mikono ni mwako washindanie waondolee any kind of attack attack of fear attack of discouragement waondolee waondolee any kind of affliction ninawainua mikono ni mwako wasaidie neema yako iende na wao hii ni baraka kutoka kwako ni kama mishale ya vita mikononi mwa shujaa asante kwa kazi wazazi wao wamefanya kazi walimu wamefanya na kazi ile imefanyika kwao wakikalia mitihani yao wanapojiandaa Mungu wetu uwabariki wakombolee wakati wao Mahali adui alitaka kuwa west i disconnect Mahali adui alitaka wakunywe madawa za kulevia i disconnect Mahali maadui walitaka wakuwe bure i disconnect and i spare them apart Ninasema these are the ordinances of the Lord and they are capable to do great things international and globally in the name of Jesus na tuna decree na tuna declare kile wamesoma kitapitia kwa makaratasi na watapita kwa utukufu wa jina lako i bless them in the name of the father the son and the holy spirit amen mungu awabariki sana sana na awainue na awasaidie hiyo ndio tu kuhani anaweza pewa watoto kama hao kwa sababu watapita na sisi Mungu ametufikisha mahali tumefika ambia mwezako you are not going backward yes please
forward is your portion. Yes, hautaimba wimbo ule tena. Eh? Tisiri ya machozi haya bana. Kwani tutashinda tukilia? No. Hatu utashinda hapo. Tutaimba a new song of victory. Hallelujah. Mungu awabariki sana. Wacha nisiongezee kachumbali ni haribu kile nimewekelea kwa meza eh lakini Mungu amesalimia wawili watatu salamu za amani wawili songa songa tu songa songa to may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore amen god bless you